Hi, I'm Scott with Mark's Mobility. Today we're going to be unboxing the GC550. This is the Golden Companion HD scooter by Golden Technologies, so stay tuned. When you receive your GC550, it will most likely be on a pallet. I have already removed the pallet for the ease of this video, but it will probably be on a pallet. And then you will have these two boxes here. You've got your scooter base, and you have your scooter seat up here. There might be a third box, which would be your basket. I'm not sure if this unit has a basket included or not. The other GC models do have a basket shipped separately, uh, but we'll find out. So to start, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the seat because we're gonna deal with this later. And now we have our unit here. We have these two straps that we're gonna grab a knife and cut. Remember to cut upwards, do not cut downwards. I don't want you potentially damaging any product. So we'll cut these two straps. And now there might be staples holding the front of the box together. I see holes where staples were, but I don't see them in this box. So just a heads up, uh, you might have to remove staples. I don't want you getting cut if there are any. There is not in this box, but you can see where they were. So I just exercise some caution there. We open up the first two flaps and we have the golden flag that comes with all golden scooters. So I'm gonna set this to the side. I'll go ahead and open this up too. And it is packaged the same way a lot of the other GC scooters is. Uh, fairly minimal trash. Uh, I like the way they package these. Now, to access the scooter, it's actually pretty easy. You just lift up on the whole box and it should separate from the base. There we go. And there's our scooter. We have this other box in here. This is most likely gonna be our charger and owner's manual. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see what's in here. we have our mirror here's our battery charger we have our owner's manual and finally we have our keys now I'm going to bring the tiller up on this so I can remove some of this bubble wrap and there we go, there's our basket. So unlike the GC340 and 440, where the basket sometimes will ship separate, this one was right here in the base of the unit, so only two boxes in this case. Now, how I brought this tiller up, on these new GC scooters, there's a lever right here on the right-hand side. You would just pull that in towards you, and then you can move the tiller wherever you want, let go, and it will stay there. It is spring-loaded, so if you pull it in, it will naturally want to go upwards. And now we have our scooter unboxed. So this scooter, you might be able to lift it out by yourself by moving the front and then the rear. This is a heavy scooter, I do not recommend that. I would recommend grabbing a second person, lifting the scooter up and then setting it to the side. Keep in mind on the HD, your scooter arms are underneath, so try to lift up over the arms, or you can try to pull them out beforehand, uh, which I am not doing. Oh, there they are. So you might be able to slide these out. Now we're just gonna pick this up and then move it forward. All right, so now I'm gonna take a moment, clean up some of the packing material, and then we will get to the assembly of the scooter. So before we start putting the seat on, we have to connect the batteries. It's a lot easier without a seat in the way. Um, so I actually wheeled this back here while we're looking at it. We have the neutral lever. So this allows you to push the scooter around. So that's how I got it back here. And then we want to go up into the lock position. This allows the scooter to drive, but if you push it, it will stay in place. So. I got it into neutral to get it over here, and now I'm gonna lock it so that it doesn't roll out on me. So we have these two knobs here to get the shroud off. If these are stuck, maybe a giant Phillips, or I prefer a flathead if you have to. 
uh, but these luckily are pretty loose. I did notice this little plastic cap likes to come off, so you can just lift up and it'll still grab the screw that's in there. Uh, you can see there's an actual screw. Uh, then this actually just slides back in. But we will take these completely out. Then this should just lift right up. There is some latches up front that you might have to pull. There we go. They're just little snaps. So here's our batteries. Uh, as you can tell, the batteries are not plugged in. There's two plugs on each of the batteries, and then kind of jammed in here is two plugs that are actually going to the unit. Uh, do not plug the two battery plugs together. You will not get power that way. One battery per one of these unit plugs, just like that. Now that these batteries are plugged in, we can put our shroud back on. Just rests over there. Go ahead and get the tabs pushed down up front. Then we'll grab our two screws. And luckily you can kind of pull this back towards you until you see the threading. Then we'll just screw these in. Now it's time to unbox our seat. We're gonna grab our seat box here. And just like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna cut it with a knife. Be very careful, do not cut down into your uh, into your seat. We don't want you to damage it. That's not covered under warranty. What I recommend on these is to cut the sides first because uh, there is tape holding the box in. Once the sides are cut, lift the two flaps up so that when you cut down, you're not going to hit into anything. And there is a protective layer of cardboard underneath, but still just exercise caution. And we have our headrest right here. So this unit does come with a headrest. Uh, at least for this seat. And here's our seat. Also in here we have, it's like a rear docking device, and then some screws. I assume the screws are going to go into the seat so we can mount our arms. I'll set this to the side. Now we're going to put the seat on the unit. I'm gonna grab it from the back. Then this post just slides in here. Now, I will say it's kind of a, kind of a tight fit. Uh, see how it's kind of loose? You just gotta line it up right and kind of push it in. Uh, so it does take a little bit more effort. Same with removing it. It just seems to fit really tight in there. Um, but that's how you mount the seat on. So now I have the seat on. I'm gonna go ahead and install the headrest. Uh, we can just remove this plastic and it should just slide in here. There's a button on the left hand side you push in and the headrest will slide in easily. It is adjustable. Now in this bag that has the rear docking device and your screws, we're going to get two of these screws out. As I drop one and they're going to go, you're going to see two holes both on the outside of this arm bracket. I'm just going to go ahead and start them. And now we're going to grab our arms from earlier. Here's your arms. You can see on the outside of the arms we have adjustments here. If you loosen this screw, here's how the arm would sit. If you loosen that screw, you can actually adjust it up and down, and then tighten it wherever you want it. Same with here, we're going to slide this in here. And then adjust the arms in or out as far as you want. Once they are where you want them, go ahead and tighten those screws that we just put in. Same thing on the other side. Also in this bag, we have a rear docking device. If you look in the back bar where we just put those other screws, you see two other holes. You would just put these through bolt, these two bolts through, and then you have, looks like a, probably a half inch bolts and then an Allen wrench on the other side. We go in through here, then you would have a rear docking device on your scooter. And then I will show this in a video overlay, um, just so you can see what it looks like. 
we have our golden flag here in the back of all golden seats they have a seam on the left hand side that you can slide your flag into there we go and then we have our keys so on this unit our keys are in the bag labeled keys We'll go ahead and put them in the ignition, turn it to the right, and we should have power. So if you hear your scooter screaming at you like this, uh, giving a five beep code, that means we're in neutral. So go ahead and turn off your power. Go back to that neutral lever we discussed earlier and flip that into the lock position. That engages your brakes. You should not be able to push the scooter. We'll turn our power on again and the scooter is not beeping at me and I can drive it. Your golden scooter also comes with two mirrors and then you have these clamps that attach to the mirrors. So the clamps have one end that's threaded and you can see that thread will match with this end of the mirror. We're gonna take this nut and then bring it all the way back. Now we're gonna take this clamp and then you want the threaded side down and you can see the handles have that notch. See how there's a notch right there? That's where they go. We'll clamp it on there, close it down. Then we're gonna take our threads, put them in here, and then you just start spinning your mirror to the right, and it will start threading. You can adjust the tilt as well, like that. But once you get it where you want it, just keep spinning. and then eventually it will tighten up, and then you will have your mirrors mounted. We have our basket here. The basket has three holes, and there's three posts for them to go. I like to put the bottom one in first, and then slide the top one in, and now our basket has been mounted. We have our owner's manual here, and we have our charger right here. To charge the unit underneath the tiller here, we have a charging port with a little cover. You flip the cover away, then you can charge the unit under there. And then that should be all of our accessories. Uh, we do have a flag extension if you want to get this twice as tall. But once again, this has been the unboxing of the GC540. This is a the Golden Companion HD scooter. If you like this unit, if you have any questions on this unit or you want to order this unit, please give us a call and thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.